for agreeing to answer my questions. Welcome. So, um, my first question is, what is your vision for Sekmal IL and the students staying in Ladakh? <coughs> Generally in education and perhaps Sekmal and IL can spearhead that, spearhead that, lead that, catalyze that, that um, learning should not be limited to texts and letters and lectures and things. It should be hands-on, it should be experiential. Because we humans are more wired for experiencing things than listening and reading. So that's what uh, also makes them problem solvers. If you just read, you become an armchair scholar at the best. You are not able to fix things, fix things to fix societies. But if you apply everything and uh, solve problems and you learn while doing that then you become uh, solvers rather than problem creators. So that's what my idea is that uh, it should catch on with other schools making things more practical which children enjoy more they are more memorable and less forgettable. So I, I always say Rather than scolding children for forgetting their lessons, mm -hmm. let's make their lessons unforgettable. And that's, that's what happens when you do it. That's really great. So, <clears throat> my next question is, uh, uh, the increasing industrialization in the world, do you think Ladakh will also experience some industrialization and uh, harm to nature in the upcoming years? I want to believe that this industrial mindset mm -hmm. is over soon. Mm -hmm. There was a time when people didn't have enough to eat, enough to wear, and industrialization was a good solution. But now industrialization itself has become a problem. When it is done in excess, more than solving, you are creating problems. You know, I needed three pairs of clothes, I have thirty. I needed one house, I have five. Now that kind of industrialization is suicidal. So I want to believe that we'll know where that golden line of enough is. Yeah. Enough is contentment. Yes. To be able to say this is enough is a great degree of achievement. So I want to believe that not just Ladakh, but maybe Ladakh can lead the way. The whole world comes out of this more, more, more mentality. You know, we were like hungry, we were unclothed. Yes. Now we are doing excess. But then people go there and done with it and then stabilize again. So I want to believe that we start that uh, era of contentment where the richest of the people will say, but I can only wear five pairs of clothes. Why not clothe somebody who has none? No pairs of clothes. And that's where I draw my satisfaction. Not in having 50 pairs or 5,000 pairs, I draw my satisfaction in how many unclothed people I clothe. And that way, the world will be in better balance because you, each person won't be possessing worth 500 people's possessions. So that's what I would like to believe that in Ladakh, we don't see that kind of industrialization. We don't see the past kind of hunger and uh, poverty also. There is nothing to celebrate in abject poverty, but there is nothing to celebrate in excessive wealth and exploitation. So, Kale, uh, your videos are so perfect. So, so I would like to ask, what is your approach for a particular topic? Uh, how do you select it and what is the thought process you, behind those ideas? So the topic should be something that needs to be addressed, not just because you want to address, but what people are, you know, to, to feel the nerves you know, of the people, pulse of the people is very important. So you can do what you think is urgent, but it may not click as much as if you bring an overlap of what you think is important and what people think is important. That's where it clicks. And then keeping ideas 
simple as possible so that majority of people can associate uh, yet stretching their lim you know limits a little bit but not too much if you are too over their heads then they won't even engage if it is too simple then it may not interest them so that balance of uh, going a little complex but not too complex even if you have all the understanding not giving in to temptation of you know Maybe. throwing all your understanding mm -hmm. uh, even if it is not necessary for the people so one thing I would avoid is not showing off how much I know but rather uh, solving the gap of what they don't know um, and then yeah engaging them giving them something they can do and feel good uh, is also uh, great it should be a very relatable topic for people. yes yes a relatable topic uh, which they do or don't do for example it's about environment um, they need to do but they may not do so you just stretch them a little and make them feel good that they can also do something I think everybody wants to be good yeah? but people think being good is beyond my reach and if you make them see that it is within your reach and if we collectively do a little good there is a big good happening then maybe people are more motivated to join in something like that Thank you for taking so such great time out of your busy schedule. Thank you. All the best. Thank you.